Greetings fellow humans, my name is Flailbot, and I'm here to welcome you to episode 5 of Love, Faith, Steel. The truest love story that there ever was. We are playing Isabella and Vlad. We have conquered gloriously Western Sylvania. And, um, well, we are going to see what we can do here. We have a non-aggression pact with uh, these horrible monsters over here. Beastmen tribe, and we are at war with Templewolf and Steerland. Steerland, unfortunately, has an army just sitting right here. Not a huge army. Eleven team. Maybe not big enough to take on Schwarzhafen. I was I was surprised by how poorly our previous army did, so I don't want to get overconfident. Um, it's tempting to make peace with Templehof and focus on Stirland for just a moment, because their corruption is not they don't have any, any vampire corruption, so uh, it's going to be a bit of a struggle to get. Um, well, once we go in there, we're going to have to wait a while to get our vampire corruption up, so it's not going to be particularly profitable for a while. Uh, can't recruit any new heroes, <clears throat> and we can't build any new buildings. So I think what we're going to have to do is just wait and see if we, we have an opportunity. I am going to move all of Vlad's units into Isabella's army. Vlad will eventually go back there. Can you march, or did those changes come in already? Yeah. Well, that's cool. You can still move while this is happening, right? It says constant replenishment. I can't adopt a whole garrison. Gosh, that is the most irritating feature on the planet. Um, anyway, in the latest patch of FSFO, they changed the stance of march. You have to have a minimum amount of movement to, to activate it, so you can't, like, move your full movement and then decide to march. Which uh, is good, because a lot of times, you know, the AI will come in and they'll assault your city or something, and then it'll just march all the way back. Which is frustrating, because the penalties for marching quickly don't apply until they switch into the stance, so they end up basically being just as effective, but having the bonus 50% move without, without yeah, without any drawbacks. It's a little bit silly. Um, I fiddled with some settings, so my frames per second have plummeted drastically. I um, tried to bring my settings back to the way they were, and doesn't really seem to have successfully... To offer you. We will happily take a non-aggression pact with these guys. Oh yeah, and these guys. I guess we didn't have a non-aggression pact. They're gonna pay me 300. And I'm happy to let them muck about in Eshin for a while. Although I assume they just killed themselves. Oh no, they probably just went into hidden encampment mode. One would assume. Okay, good. Upkeep reduction. That's positive. And Fort Ober's Tor, which I've renamed because I want to be able to pronounce that word. I think we just need more money so we can recruit more units. So... What's your health? Okay, you're fine. Okay, nothing is going to have walls unless they've successfully built the defensive units. Um, which is what? What is the defense building? Boop, 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 defense corpse pile. <laughs> a pile of corpses, that's a garrison. Okay, sold. So if I recruit here a few more units... Aw, oh, cav would be very useful. 
with these open open field things. Um, ancient armory is this thing. I still gotta wait a while. I'm gonna keep the growth benefit here on Castle Temple Grove for the time being because it's eventually going to be useful. And upgrading the cemetery so I can recruit crypt ghouls and spears is probably wise, although expensive. I don't have anything else to buy right now. Um, I have a lot of like meat shield units here. I don't have a lot of damage dealing units, so I think I'm gonna need to pick up some Vargeist and some Black Knights, but the time frame for getting an Asian Armory is... Well, how many turns do I have left? Oh, well, okay. And what's the upgrade cost for a shady township? 4k. Okay, let's save our money. And we will grab... Uh... Definitely benefits for the fell bats because Isabella's gonna have more fell bats eventually. Although I keep complaining about my um, my economics, we'll do master of the swarm and then we'll go back to to economics. Okay, I'm gonna save our money. Uh, Vlad is going to reduce his upkeep costs by moving into the city here, and we're gonna see what Steerland does. And they're still not willing to make peace. Does anyone want to trade? I'm Talk at me in your food language if you're What if we non aggression this massive swarm of dwarves? On, hey, okay. Maybe we can trade with them in a couple of turns. Will. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Averland hates me. You they declared war on me. No, they didn't. I, that was Tala, my friend. Alright. <clears throat> see what we can do. Let's see what happens. If Steerland moves in, then we'll swoop in and in in the back and try to grab moot the moot and kill their king thing. Otherwise we're going to upgrade the castle, Temple Hulf, and we are going to try to push for the Ancient Armory. That's not useful. That's not useful either, because we're not going to actually do any hero actions. So we're going to upgrade Castle Templehof, which I know I renamed to Chainmail's Bastion before. Still considering doing it. Okay, that's, that's all we're planning for today. We don't have any money. SFO definitely, I feel, slows the game down a lot because there's not as much, um, there's just not as much money floating around. And the garrisons are huge, so you're not just like eating provinces one by one, or settlements one after the other, without any sort of <clears throat> pacing, I suppose. I do not badly work with the weak. Leave. So this is tempting. But I suspect that maybe their army has been destroyed. So if they're, but they're willing to pay me a thousand money. But if I can grab these two, then I have two provinces, which is really useful. So I'm going to wait. I still have to wait four turns or something before the castle at Temple Hulf actually upgrades to a shady, a shady township. <laughs> Vampire corruption and adjacent provinces. Adjacent? I know how to talk. Oh, that's cool, but I really need my money, so... Nagash has gone from... Has been gone from the world for centuries, yet his legacy persists. And now a humble warlock approaches with seeing himself two artifacts said to contain the great necromancer's spirit. Slay the fool where he stands and take these so-called artifacts. No more sharks will be created this day. That's cool. Nagash is out there somewhere. 
but I'm gonna kill him because uh, I uh, don't have the money to invest in that right now. Three more turns for this, but I'm gonna spend my money upgrading my or recruiting units, <clears throat> and then. So many money. That's fine. We'll do this. And then next turn we'll grab um, three bats. Maybe even four bats. Check in if Isabella has these armor piercing damage bonus yet. Plus six for fell bats. That's pretty crazy given that fell bats do. <clears throat> So that's uh, plus 6 of 30 is, what, 20% more damage and all armor piercing? Very, very nice. And there's plus 1 from that tech or something, or... Yeah, plus 1 from attack and plus melee defense. I wonder if I could just siege Eshin. I guess it depends on if I have an army. So much thinking to do. Oh, and I should definitely bring um, Vlad with me, since he'll be very potent, and I need to level him. Wait, I built... Oh yeah, that's the money thing. Okay. Ah, uh, right. But can I raise units? Oh, I can raise some spearmen. I'll do it next turn. And right, three bats. Three bats is reasonable. Maybe I can raise with Vlad some units over here. Ah, they already have a big honking army over here. Wonder if I could <laughs> initiate the siege with Vlad. And then um, put Isabella in ambush here and see if we walk into an ambush. Although he is recruiting. It's tough. I feel like this, this campaign is writ so small compared to the other campaigns I've been doing where I was playing Greenskins earlier and all your settlements are scattered way across the badlands and nothing's going on he lost against Sri rimland render nice excellent all right so ambush requires 25 percent powers or movement if i go here i strongly suspect that my area of effect will not be large enough to grab. Maybe. So maybe I'll just take an extra turn. Or maybe I'll just push. I can move in. Oops. Uh, how much money do we have? A bowl of money. Roll into the cash. I'm going to at least raise another skeleton spearman. You can raise another skeleton swordsman. Not great, but better than nothing. And Vlad is going to pick up more zombies and move in and pick up more zombies. Oh yes, I have no money, but this is going to be amazing. And he's gonna move in. He's gonna move over here because I don't want him to get hit by. Um... All right. Here's the question: Do we bother doing the attack, or do we just auto settle with our massive army? Armor piercing? No. Uh... Large. 
charge, armor piercing, lethal poison regeneration. And the black coach, GC Pete's. Eh, let's just auto resolve. And we are definitely going to occupy Eshin. Oh, right, Mish. Ah. Hooray, plus five leadership. Wow, okay, not bad. Not too shabby. And I can build a bunch of things with Dragonhold. I'm gonna get rid of this building because we have it here. I'm going to upgrade our income building. I think these are better saved for the smaller settlements. And like, why do I have a defiled cairn here? Can't even. So we're gonna toss the defiled cairn, and we'll build a uh, money crafting building there. <laughs> uh, it'd be nice to recruit these terrible bat units, but I think we're going to use this. Ah, oh, yeah, the like special infrastructure building. Wasted cost minus thirty percent. Not bad. And we will want to increase our vampire corruption eventually, but right now we need more money. So we're going to get a tarnished gold mine. We have healing for everyone. We have our heal. We have our coven of the undead. Now the question is if we want to go... I feel like red line for Vlad is not as focused and pleasant as Redline is for um, Isabella. Grave Garden Crypt Horrors. Meh. Meh. So I guess we'll go melee with him. So I'm going to grab Cloud of Horror so he's faster. He can get where he needs to go. I don't know if it's the best idea, but that's what we'll do. And Isabella leveled, so we're gonna get the first fell bats. Ooh, two fell bats things. Right? Unless there's something that unlocked a little level that we want. Nope. We'll get these eventually. This is Pretty nice. Plus three arm piercing damage, plus six melee attack. Yeah, that's quite good. <clears throat> okay. I suppose I should have fought that battle just to entertain myself. Honestly, I was vaguely concerned that I would screw it up somehow. Uh, you know what? I want to focus on the west, so I'm happy to leave these dwarves in peace. I don't care about them right now. I'm already in a war with Steelland anyway. I don't need to get onto multi-front wars. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Plus fifty percent miscast base chance. That's a lot. Lots more magic to potentially cast, though. All right. Um, that still has to be level five. Let me. I need to reinvest this money in making more money because if I don't, then I'm going to end up having a decent army with Vlad, but I'm not going to end up having anything. Uh. Useful. I really want to select that lad. Not repeatedly select the. Seven thirty-five for basic crypt ghouls. They're speedy though. Good decent flanking units. Gonna get an anti-large. 
two crypt ghouls, and I'm gonna get. Oh, I can't recruit anything else. That's okay. Hopefully, this um, beastman herd will not switch to raiding stance. I don't know if that's different in SFO or not, but in the vanilla game, when you non aggression pack someone, they can still raid you, and then if you have like 10 turns before you can break the non aggression pact, and then you break the non aggression pact, and there's a 10 turn diplomatic penalty after you break the non aggression pact, uh, it's going to be really frustrating if you. You know, just want someone to leave your lands and go do something else. Plus 20 armor is pretty good for up from zero. And we're going to switch to economy. And now we are going to grab the last thing of these. And we're going to go in circle. And we're going to pull old Vladdy over. Why not? Raiding won't do anything because we're sieging the only settlement. Um, man, what is going on with unit selection here? That did not significantly improve my when we when we bring zombies. All right, we're gonna fight this battle, and I'll see you guys on the other side. I wonder how my graphics are gonna hold up here. They were the 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 benchmarking thing was giving me like forty, which is okay. That's not great, but it's okay. What are these? Wait, what? What was that? Okay, my... My... Uh, reinforcements are coming behind. I'm going to have a wall of zombies here. On either side, I'm going to have three skeletons. Group these all. Zip. That is a nice big long line. Is there any water here? Okay, this is water. So we don't really want to attack through here. And our bats are going to hang out over here. We're going to distract. Our Vargeists have regeneration, so I'm going to push in with them and try to deal damage and then pull them back. I have to attack things that don't have regeneration, but um, that's okay. So let's see. Out of the big freaking army. So for example, we can hit maybe um, some of these dire wolves or something who don't have... I mean, they might run away, but... Or zombies just mash on them. Well, all right, let's see what happens. I'm going to move my whole army forward and over a little bit. Man, that is so much rearranging. Where are you guys going? They do have three corpse cards. See, that's what I thought those three units were. And this is Vlad and his entire army. It's all just spears and stuff. And this is all water. It needs to get beyond it. Use it as best you can, Vladdy old boy. Uh, clearly, my units should be moving up with themselves. Oh no. Uh, also, oh no. Zit. Boop, boop. Zit. I'm not really sure what I should be assaulting with my... With my bats and stuff to keep things busy. These corpse carts are big. Got some decent armor, not amazing armor. 
think we're just gonna crush in from both sides, I hope. These guys are gonna get a solid group. These guys are gonna get locked as well. And my bar guys are gonna try to hit um, anyone really. Graveguard would be decent. As long as no Oh wait, um, you guys need to move over first, because that's a lot of water there. I'd like to watch out a little bit for these, um, for my, oh no, <laughs> those guys are going to take forever to walk through there. Um, spears on the corpse cars. Wow, can we just pull through a couple of units here? Go hit some of the things? Get some more spears on these corpse cards. Um, Isabella, what are you doing? Because you could maybe be slightly more useful. Uh, this is going pretty decently, although these Cryptors are kind of slaughtering me. I don't actually have any anti-large, not like real anti-large. Uh, you go there. Did you guys attack? What's going on here? Definitely want to kill Zelich. And... Need some bats, I think. Over here, maybe? One bat here and one bat here. Help even things up a bit. And one Zelly is down, which should be soon. Oh, come on, push forward, guys. Um, Vlad, cast some spells. Should heal everyone. And let's go ahead and heal our bats. Kind of a weird decision, in my opinion. So these spearmen are crumbling, so we're going to take our bats and go do something else. Um, Isabella von Karstein is doing okay. This side of the battle is a disaster festival. Um... I'm going to need to bring my bats over ASAP. It's probably these four corpse cards <laughs> that are causing some problems. Uh, no, don't go there. Go here and pull back onto the grave guard. Uh, you guys hit those from behind. Those guys are crumbling. we get might not be super useful Isabella you're supposed to be killing Sally you can't you are stuck move out please come on just walk Enemy Lord is wounded. Super duper team. Good work. Let's pull. Let's kill these. We'll get those knights taken care of. 
This isn't going so badly. I guess actually attacking or just standing there? Well, except these crypt horrors are butchering my guys. Um, and they have regen, so I do actually need to take care of them. These corpse cards, why? Alright, one hero per corpse card. Should be fine. Over here. This is going pretty okay. Did we finally get the crypt horrors? No. They're slowly dying. Great weapon, great swords. Corpse guard is going down. These are gonna attack there. These are gonna attack here. These guys are gonna attack these infantry units. Oh, it's corpse guard. Um, let's go ahead and heal anyone who's really low, like these zombies. Because I prefer if they didn't die and then I have to pay for them again. And. Cool. A Pyrrhic victory. But a Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> Losses 842. <laughs> did we lose any units? I bet we did. 105 kills on these bats. Heck yes. Dang. Dang bats. What did we? What did we end up losing? Two skeletons, three zombies, both bats. So which dead rose again exactly? I guess the Crypt Ghouls. Oh, they're pretty expensive. More expensive than the bats. Okay, and we do not have any missions here. That is the only time I'll ever remember. And we are now the vampires. Okay. Everyone is going to get a... What? What does this do? Four uses is not bad, and we don't have horsies right now. Um, neither of my lords have horsies, so that's a terrible item. We're gonna grab the potion of toughness instead. And wait, we just don't have a lot of items. That's okay. Um, yeah, definitely the grave digger for Vlad. I didn't assign that banner, and Emanuela can't raise that anyway. Okay. So I'm thinking if there is a building cost reduction thing, which there isn't, uh, that would be a good choice. Alternately. don't need to recruit anything right now. We have two semi-decent armies. Not great, but semi-decent. I think what we need is research. Oh, I didn't realize we could upgrade. Um, Ford Oberstor. Ooh. More money. Recruitment cost minus 20% for fell bats. Yes, please. So this is going to be a place where we're going to recruit fell bats, but not vargulfs. Fell bats and vargeists. Over here, Badenhof does have this building, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. We're going to destroy our basic armory, or whatever this is called, cemetery, because we have a barrow here. And I think we're going to toss this building too. Right? It's just penalizing public order, and we don't intend to recruit any of those types of units here. Um, and 
this building needs to be moved to Castle Templehof at some point. Or else we won't be able to recruit Vargus. Not that we have to. Although they are armor piercing, which is good. And they have regeneration. But there's this ability. What is this? The Beastmaster? No. Plus two for all units. Plus two ranks. So we can... Um, those Vargos would be good too once we finish that line. But we'll do it later. Um, da -da -da -da. Eastern Sylvania. Right. Castle Krakenhof can still build all sorts of things. Canwraiths, Banshees, White Kings, Black Coaches. Crypt Horrors. Public order bad. Hero ranks higher. This we want. Okay, so we'll do core units here. I don't really need to split it up this much, but just because the buildings that are already there. Unit experience plus three for all units recruited from the forest building chain. So if I got the Terrorgeist Lair in Western Sylvania, then, well, plus five ranks. Okay, definitely want a Balefeather Brazier. How many adjacent provinces do you have? One. It's just the dwarves. I don't really need it, actually. Because um, it provides uh, corruption in adjacent provinces, which is very useful if you want to conquer there. But uh, it's not our current intention, so... Not to conquer from the east side. Mm, more growth? I really just want to build these buildings. Is this a unique building? Wait, what? Why does that not show up on our landmarks? Military recruitment. That is definitely not present in like Temple Hope or something. Definitely not military recruitment. Military recruitment. Okay, well that's a building we should definitely build. Without a doubt. We can get more vampires. And Manuela Posner has... Ooh! We can regenerate constantly. Not constantly. 13 out of every 45 seconds. And hunger comes next rank. Yes, please. We're going to be spamming that. And okay, did I change both of the things to repress mortals? Yeah, because that'll give us big research rate boost, which I think will help since we're not we're not fighting any wars or um, desperately need to recruit any units. Or I mean, we're kind of struggling to grow, but not. Not that significantly. Alright guys, I'm sure this has been a long episode. I haven't looked. Um, thanks for watching. I have been Flailbot. This has been Love, Faith, Steel. The Steel Faith Overhaul. Episode 5. Isabella and Vlad. Best friends forever. Thing. Thanks for watching. Me with the respect I deserve. Uh... Yes, we want to reinvest in our economy at home. And we're going to disband some units to do so, like zombies and stuff. And then we'll... Maybe. We'll see. Alright guys, see you next time.